right, students, put down your math test and tell me the answer you got. One plus one equals one. Um, uh, one moment, just, just one moment. Uh, how much damage does he do again? Yes. Oh, um, okay. That's perfect, you got it. Thank you very much, you passed. The Archon is the Protoss Psionic Battering Ram. They are not built, but instead merged from the combination of any two Templar. High or dark, it does not matter. Everyone's invited aboard the Archon train. Because of this, their production cost can technically vary between 100, 300, 175, 275, or 250, 250. No matter what goes into making it though, it will still have 350 shields, 10 life, take up 4 supply, and be tagged as massive and psionic. Their attack comes in the form of Psionic Shockwave, dealing 25 damage, or 35 versus biological targets, to all enemies in a short radius near the target. At a range of 3, just a few Archons in the right spot can annihilate groups of units. So when do you need Archons? They can add tremendous value to most Protoss compositions thanks to both their incredible durability and respectable damage. Versus Terran, they are quite a solid answer to low-tech biotank armies. Versus Protoss, they can be seen as a bulky front line for the standard Blink Stalker Disruptor combination. Versus Zerg, Archons are quite scary, since everything for Zerg is biological. They're a generally reliable choice in the matchup. Archons are absolutely best when left relatively to their own devices. There simply isn't a whole lot of room for micro-potential with them. The best thing would be to ensure that their positioning is correct when going into a fight. Zealots can be in front of them, but you don't want the Archons to get stuck behind other ranged assets like Stalkers or Immortals. The other consideration with Archons is their targeting. Knowing that they deal extra damage versus biological targets and have a splash damage attack, you probably don't want them to get distracted by the lone siege tank. Tell him that those marines over there insulted his mother. Wait, it's two Templar to an Archon. They insulted both of his mothers? Hmm. Their power may be overwhelming, but these angry balls of energy are not the end-all be-all Protoss paragons that some may wish them to be. Despite having splash damage, their attack range is somewhat limiting. Combine that with how much space they take up, although don't tell them I said that, and it can be a struggle to actually control them. Once the amount of Archons gets higher than roughly 6, they start to trip over each other. Generally speaking, your counterplay options will tend to be ranged forces that either overwhelm or can exploit the poor mobility of the Archons. Obviously, non-biological forces will fare better, but not every faction has that option, <coughs> Zerg, so it's not really worth focusing on. Terran lovers, you have what is likely to be the strongest counter in the entire game, the Ghost. Their EMP round is good versus much of what Protoss can field, but especially shreds Archons. 
since the Archons are practically all shields, a few well-placed EMPs will quickly turn their hardware into software. If you are not comfortable with controlling ghosts, another option to consider is the Liberator. With a decent economy, they pair well with both bio and mech compositions, they're not biological, and they can give your main army some much needed breathing room versus a lot of the ground threats that Protoss can use. Be sure to upgrade their attack range at the Fusion Core. Protoss, the standard PvP match will usually see Archons at some point. Similar to the other mirror matchups, the units that make up the standard composition all kind of counter each other. If you're seeing Archons, you may want to lean more heavily into the Disruptors and the Blink Stalkers. They're both armored, ranged, and can exploit the slow mobility of the Archons. Zerg players, a large key of dealing with Archons, and Protoss in general, is positioning. Having your roaches, your hydralisks set up in a concave is a great start. Since both of those units are ranged, they can actually start to whittle down the Archons without immediate reprisal. Really want to seal the deal and win the fight? Bring in a few Vipers. You can use Abduct to isolate and pick off individual Archons, or use Blinding Cloud to give them quite a fatal pause in the midst of a battle. Overwhelming Power immeasurable strength, and the joy of floating instead of walking around, but at the price of being merged with one person for all eternity. Would you do it? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day.